channel. Today I'm on Roblox Studio and I'm going to be introducing you guys to particle effects and also just different effects in general. So to start messing around with effects just insert a part into your map. What you want to want to do is actually insert an object. You can insert sparkles. Now this is actually one effect. Now you could add different colors to your sparkles if you'd want but this is just one effect. Now you can also come in here insert object and you can insert a fire. Uh oh. I'm going to do it the lazy way. So for those of you that want to find stuff easy, you can come in here part and just type in what you want to find. Boom. Easy. This is fire. This is actually another uh little animation that you can do. Now to change like the fireball size, that's heat. So you can just type this like 5000. Well, I guess 25 is the biggest it's going to let me go. Now, as you can see, the fireball has gotten a little bit bigger. If you want it to get smaller, type it to zero. As you can see, it has gotten a lot smaller. Now, let's come over here to effects. And you can add in a particle emitter. Now, this is another effect. And the cool thing about the particle emitter is there's different textures. So you can add in all kinds of different uh, actual particle effects through the particle emitter with the textures. But I'm going to have to be going into textures in another video because that is mostly like going through Roblox's pages and kind of figuring out like different textures and stuff. But there's also another really easy way to get different particles if you are trying to find particles. Now I wouldn't recommend taking the whole thing, but if you just type in effect, effects, there we go, particle kit. So as you can see, this is a good way to get different particles. But it spawns in a whole bunch of them, so if you needed different particles, like let's say if you needed just like one fireball, what you would do is ungroup them all. And like let's say if you wanted, let's see, what would be a good example? Like if you wanted just like bubbles, like let's say you're doing like a, uh, like a blowing bubble animation in a script, you can actually put this bubble animation in your server storage and use it that way but you would uh, what I would recommend is actually just copying like just this part take this and you can actually insert it into your own part and as you can see it still works so there's all kinds of different particles and a lot of people have spent a lot of time like making different particles so I would use what the community has provided for you but also keep in mind some of them have malicious like stuff intent for their so like let's just search this for rotate or spread all right so you see if I search in for script you see all these different scripts and stuff that they've added into the game you got to be careful if you're adding in stuff from the toolbox because they'll hide in what's like people refer to them as viruses, but they're not really viruses. It's just stuff that will slow your game down. So just take the effects only. Don't just, you know, copy everything and do it that lazy way. If you do it the lazy way, you're going to get a really laggy game. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and yeah, have fun messing around with all kinds of different effects. So. Leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe for more.